Greetings and welcome to the 2017 North American International Auto Show. I'm Nathan Adlin with the Fastlane Car and behind me is the Chevy Pavilion. More importantly, the 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. Now this is the high country model, which is basically top of the line, loaded with everything. And coming up next, we're gonna tell you all about it. Uh, the all new 18 Traverse is completely new from the inside out. Has had has bold new styling. Um, the vehicle has a much more SUV um, like profile than the previous vehicle. It um, basic length, width, and um, height are basically the same, but we've been able to add um, additional space on the interior of the vehicle. Um, we've added 7% uh, behind the first row, 11% behind the second row, and a full. 17% behind the third row. So behind the third row we've got a full two feet of storage which is um, capable of handling your luggage or, um, or belongings and, um, and carrying them around comfortably. So this baby's got a little party trick and it's only available on the curb side of this but watch. Ta -da! You're able to leave a baby seat hooked up to this seat as long as there's no baby in it and of course it does a bunch of other things including folding flat but being able to access the back seat by pulling a handle, well that's pretty cool. So we've got both seven and eight passenger seating. We've got a 60-40 seat, which is a um, bench seat that goes all the way across the second row for eight passenger seating. And then we do also offer um, seven passenger seating with two captain's chairs where you can either um, enter the vehicle from the side of the vehicle um, by articulating the second row seat or um, by going ahead and going between the rows because there's plenty of space between the, um, the, two, um, the two captain's chairs. Think about it this way. This is a vehicle that competes directly against the Ford Explorer and the Honda Pilot. Also, the Toyota Highlander. As such, it is expected to be many things to many people. The, the powertrain is, um, we've got a high feature V6 standard on the vehicle. Um, we also, and that it generates 305 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. And then on our RS model specifically, front wheel drive only, we're offering um, a two-liter turbo which generates uh, 255 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque. So it gets a little more torque, it's a little more fun to drive, a little more exhilarating, gets a little bit better fuel economy in the city. Both are coupled to a nine-speed automatic transmission, um, so coupling um, the engines to the nine-speed allows us to um, allow the vehicle to run closer to its peak operating efficiency for longer periods of time. and. Um, that along with our advanced start-stop technology and a whole host of other fuel economy enablers improves your overall um, fuel economy on the vehicle. And then the engines, um, you know, we're getting sub seven seconds, zero to 60s, which means for our customers, getting it on and off of freeway ramps is great. On top of that, it is a lighter vehicle, losing up to 360 pounds. And then with the engine comes um, 5,000 pounds towing capability on our V6 which um, I think our customers are going to enjoy also. Is there a towing with a two liter as well? Um, just 1,500 pounds. Okay. Without our towing okay. package, it'll be 1,500 pounds. With our towing package um, on, the, on the V6, it goes up to 5,000. Now this is the ultra high level version of the Chevy Traverse. That's because this is the high country model. So it's basically checking every single box. And with that, you get leather everywhere. Um, a fairly modern design. It's actually quite nice having two different types of materials right here. And of course, you're getting, well, all the high tech that General Motors can give you. The inside is completely new also. Um, the term we're using is, um, it's got a truck-like interior with uh, car-like luxury. If you look around uh, from a um, material use, we've got leather used throughout. Um, the, the stitching is very uh, purposely put into position. The materials on the deco trim, um, are, um, are very well finished all the way around. The, um, the interior is very, very functional. So it looks great, but it's functional. Um, if you look at the, um, the infotainment screen, we've got, a, it articulates up and out of position. That's a cool feature. It is, and we've got a USB port inside of it also. Mm -hmm. So you allow it to plug in your cell phone, and you can actually secure it with a pin, so it is a secured area. We've got um, a large glove box, and the console um, is very um, full-size truck-like. It's a huge um, center console storage bin. It's illuminated with a tray to be able to put your belongings. We've got um, 
large cup holders, and this is a, um, a wireless uh, charger okay. for your cell phone. We've got uh, active USB ports and an auxiliary power outlet. So, and on the side of it, um, there's enough room here to put, actually put a, a tablet um, in position and be able to access it um, from the driver's seat. So we also have, um, when you look at the interior, um, we've got um, steering wheel controls um, that allow you to basically stay connected to the road all the time. Your eyes on the road, your hands on the wheel, um, and allow you to uh, make phone calls, text message. Um, it's compatible with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, so you're very well connected um, use, using the vehicle. We also offer a uh, full display rear view mirror which allows you to, if you've got oc occupants or um, people in the back seat, you can put it in a mode where we can actually, a camera will illuminate the back and you can um, see out your rear view mirror without the obstruction of uh, the people in, um, in your back seat. Yeah, that's very neat because this is a big vehicle, right? It is a, it is, um, it is a very big vehicle. Uh -huh. it, um, we've got um, surround vision available where it, uh, it, as you're backing up the vehicle or moving forward in tight situations, it gives you a bird's eye view of the vehicle. 3D navigation or um, 2D, you can, you, have your, you can adjust your settings. We've got some great features that are tied into the, um, into the infotainment system. Um, teen driver is an example, which is, a, which is a feature that we're offering where you can um, adjust settings on your vehicle for your teen driver. So if he's going above or he, she's going above a certain speed, chimes will sound. Um, you can set the radio to um, so it only goes up to a certain um, volume level just to keep your teen safe, uh, safe as they're driving. We also have a uh, rear seat reminder, which um, under certain criteria of opening and closing the rear doors, um, when you're um, turning the vehicle off and exiting the vehicle, it reminds you that, hey, you may have left something in the rear seat. Um, you better check. It has active cruise. Uh, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, um, all the latest safety technologies are available on this vehicle. Yeah, I don't have any pricing information, but the vehicle becomes available um, this summer. Okay. Um, we offer, we're starting off with the, uh, the 3.6 liter, okay. um, and then later on in the fall, we'll be offering the, uh, the 2 liter also on the RS model. We're here at the North American International Auto Show, so don't forget, we have videos all over the place based on this show. Click up here for more videos and click down there to subscribe.